have a giant shoe collection for absolutely no reason because I wear the same two pairs of shoes every day. Um, so let's count how many I have and then I'm going to show you guys my shoe collection. So here is my shoe collection. As you can see, it's pretty big. This right here is 34 pairs of shoes. So, that being said, let me try on all of my shoes for you and tell them what they are and tell you which ones are my favorite. So first up, I just want to throw out a disclaimer because some people are weird about shoes. I personally wear my shoes, so yes, they are all dirty. First up, we have my Crocs. You know, you've got the adventure strap. These are great lake shoes or snowboarding shoes. I wear these every time we go snowboarding. They're super dirty, but they're a staple. All right, Gucci slides. Not much to say here. I bought these in high school as like a joke and I would wear them to like prom and stuff after I took off my heels and they're just a fun shoe. And now I can say I have something from Gucci. My Birkenstocks. I love my Birks. I wear these like every single day in the summer if I'm not wearing like tennis shoes. They're my favorite sandal, my go-to. Super comfortable and very high quality. Now for some shoes I just never wear, but you know, you wake up and slip on your slippers. And that's it. So these are my other favorite pair of sandals just because they stay on super nice. They're from a company called Malibu Blowfish and they're so comfortable. The most comfortable sandals that I own and my absolute favorite. Then you have my Adidas sandals. These are kind of like a similar style, but more sporty. They have a Velcro strap. I love wearing them to the lake because I can get them wet and they're super comfortable. Now for a more fancy summer sandal. I don't really wear these as much, but they're great for like if I want to wear a sundress or something like that. I couldn't find exactly where they're from, but I found some from Pretty Little Thing and Misguided that are very similar. They're pretty comfortable. I just don't wear them that much. This is another shoe by Blowfish Malibu, and they're actually completely made out of recycled plastic. I love this brand. I've worked with them multiple times. This video is not sponsored, just a great brand, but they are slip-ons, and slip-ons have my heart. They're just not quite my style, so I don't wear them that often, but they're super comfortable, so honestly, I should. Now moving on to some more fancy shoes, I have two booties coming up and they are both from JCPenney from a sponsorship I did forever ago, but they're both super comfortable. I just don't really wear these kind of shoes that often. They're kind of something I might wear to like church on Sunday, but they're just not quite my style, but I don't want to get rid of them because they do fit some scenarios very well, you know? And here are my staple, more fancy event heels. I've got my nude pair and my black pair. The nude pair I got from Amazon for my mom's wedding and they are very high quality and very comfortable, but the black ones are a little bit more high quality and a little bit more comfortable, but I love both of them just the same and I have to keep both them because you need a nude and black pair, you know? The black ones are from David's Bridal, a little bit more high quality, but not a huge difference. And for my wedding shoes, some people hated that I wore these with my wedding dress, but I love them, so I don't care. And I still wear them all the time. They're super comfy, and they're from Rack Room Shoes. This is a pretty similar style, just more casual, but I still only wear this on like fancier days. I have no idea where they're from because I got them forever ago. I don't wear them anymore because I have shoes that I've replaced them with, but uh, they're comfy. Please excuse how dirty these are, but these are my knee-high boots, and I feel like every girl needs a staple knee-high boot. I wish I had more excuses to wear these, but I love how they're not a heel, and I don't know where they're from. <laughs> and for my dirty, creased Air Force Ones that I used to wear every single day for like two years, and I got them on a trip in the Dominican Republic, so that's random. My go-to tennis shoes are these pair, they're Adidas, and I literally wear these every time I work out or I'm wearing a sporty outfit. They're just my go-tos. Now for my unnecessarily large Vans collection. I hate wearing high tops, but have so many for some reason, but I love this black pair and I never wear them. Don't know why. These are literally Vans slip-on tennis shoes. They're a little small for me, but if they weren't, then they would be so comfortable and I'd probably wear them way more often. The classic checkered slip-on van. These used to be my daily wears in 2019. As you can tell, they are just worn out. So instead of replacing those, I upgraded to the all-white platform slip-on vans. These are now my daily wears and I love a good slip-on. Now in like 2018, I believe, these used to be my daily wears and they're so cute. I still love them so much, but it's just so much work to put on high tops. 
And these maroon vans are still one of my favorites. And I feel like I wear them a lot more in the summer, but like I said, I just hate putting on high tops. These vans are way too small for me and I really should just get rid of them, but like four people in my family have them. So it's fun when we all wear them and match, but I never wear them. I got these when I decided I was done with the high top vans, but little did I know I just needed the slip on ones, but these are so cute and they're platforms. And now for some more tennis shoes. I actually love these tennis shoes. I love the color. They're very comfortable. They're Adidas, by the way, um, but they're high tops and you know how I feel about high tops. They also have a paint stain from a day that I was painting in them, but I can't get rid of these because certain outfits, they just complement them so well, but I just never wear them. So these are my other Adidas tennis shoes. If I don't wear the ones that are my go-tos, I'll wear these. Nothing special about them, but they're good for working out in and they're comfortable. So I got them. <laughs> these might look like just normal shoes, maybe some purple Converse, but no, they're Heelys. They are legit Heelys and I got these in fifth grade. I will never get rid of them because who would get rid of a pair of Heelys? That's crazy. These are my only pair of Converse and I absolutely love them. I love the all black, but once again, we just have the high top issue of it being too much work to put on, but I like stole these from my sister, so. <laughs> So these shoes, these were a present from my brother-in-law from Goodwill and he told me to make a cool outfit out of them and I still have it, so I still have them. I love these boots. These are my checkered boots to from Dolls Kill and I absolutely love them. I wish I had more excuses to wear them. They're comfortable, they zip up. Like I adore these shoes. I just don't wear them that often, which makes me sad. So these are the boots that replaced those other like fancy boots that I was talking about earlier. I don't remember where I got these from. They honestly might be rack room shoes as well, but I love these shoes. And these are my Doc Martens, my first ever Doc Martens. I got them before Doc Martens were even a thing. You know, I'm pretty cool. But uh, they, the ties are like broken on them. So my mom got me these slip-on Doc Martens that are platforms for Christmas. And these are my everyday go to either these are the white vans and i love these so much i couldn't be happier i'm short so i love the platform i love the slip on because i hate putting on shoes because i'm lazy and that is it that is all 34 pairs of my shoes and i can't believe i have these many shoes and like never wear half of them but also now that you guys hear, hear all of my reasonings behind them maybe you can understand why you just can't get rid of them um i'm not gonna show my face because it's still all poofy from the wisdom teeth situation but i just want to thank you guys so much for watching this video it was it was actually so much fun to film so if you enjoyed it and want to see more videos like this where i show my clothes or something like that or collections that I have then let me know by commenting down below and giving this video a thumbs up it helps out a ton and don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed hopefully I can film one more video this week and get it out on Friday even though my face is all poofy but if not I will see you guys next week which is my birthday week I'm turning 20 on February 26th so stay tuned for some super fun birthday celebration videos uh thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one Bye.